Hey, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn AWS Lambda service. Here is the official documentation fr from the AWS what exactly the AWS Lambda service is but let me try to explain this thing in the simple term. When we say Lambda, so what exactly the Lambda service is? Lambda is one of the serverless computing platform where I can run my code and I don't need a underlying hardware. Again, let me go in a little bit detail what exactly the lambda is lambda is a kind of editor along with extra features so uh, whenever i'm running a code from my local machine i need to install something like pycharm or you know visual studio atom something ide i need to use in order to run my code the same thing i can do with the aws lambda service as well it is nothing but like a editor along with the extra feature. Lambda support different kind of languages like Python, Java, Node.js, Go and it is fully managed service by the AWS. Now when I say fully managed service by the AWS, let's understand this thing in the simple term. Whenever I need to run a code from my local machine, what I need to do is I need to install the PyCharm, I need to install the Visual Studio on my local machine and I need to install the libraries as well. Let's suppose if I need to work with Java, so I need to install the Java library. If I need to work with Python, I need to install the Python library. The same thing, I will get it from the Lambda. But here I don't need to install any of the library. It is already installed, already managed by the AWS. So how exactly the Lambda runs? In the background, it is installed on a Linux server. And on that Linux server, we have the Lambda installed. And we along with that, we have the, you know, the libraries also installed. So we don't need to install any of the libraries in order to run our code. That is the benefit of the Lambda we will get. So that is about the Lambda and let's, let's understand the requirement. What exactly the requirement, you know, for us to run our code. When I talk about the requirement, the first requirement is the handler. What exactly the handler is? In simple term, it is one of the function while writing our code or rather I would say it's an entry point for the Lambda. We need to start our function uh, or we need to start our code with the handler and that is nothing but it, it's a kind of function. If you have any, if you already have a knowledge on any of the language, you know what exactly the handler is. It's a function. It's in, in simple term, it's a function. So we need to start our Lambda with the function. The language Lambda accept that is the JSON and it's also you know the output which get that is also most of the time in the json format only till the time we are not going to you know change the format in our code the default format which we will get that is the json we also need the runtime environment now here the runtime environment means like if i am running my python code so that is python is the runtime environment the next thing which we require that is trigger how we need to trigger our code it might be we need to use some of the automatic way like uh, there is an event event in the dynamo tv there is an event in the s3 bucket there is a there is a event and that event trigger my lambda function or it is something where i can do it manually manually i go to my lambda function and then i run my code the permissions in lambda we can assign the you know i am role or we can go with the access key or the secret key the same way if you have installed pycharm or visual studio on your local machine and if you are trying to run anything on the aws you are calling the aws api you need to install access key or the secret key over there but in the lambda you can go with the im role as well so that is one of the benefit you will get for the lambda let's start with the demo now here i logged into my aws console and what i need to do is i need to search for the lambda service on the top now once i search for that i will get the lambda here i need to click on that on the left hand side we have the dashboard application functions along with that we have couple of other things as well and on the right hand side we that is create function so we need to create a function here now while creating a function we have couple of things like from the scratch we can create we can use a blueprint we can uh, you know use a container image or we can browse as well so what i'm going to do is in this video i'm going to you know go from the scratch here we need to give the function name so we can give my demo function something like that now here is the runtime which i talk about that is one of the requirement which i talk about so in the runtime we need to select python 
that is totally up to you whatever the language you are comfortable with you can select that language then we have the architecture then we have the permission now here we can assign a IAM role and if you don't want to go with the IAM role the next thing available for you to is to go with the access key and the secret key but you know when we compare with the access key and the secret key role are more secure so let me go with the role so how do select the role here we have an option to create a new role select an existing role or we can also create a role with the help of the policy so that is totally up to you. whatever you are comfortable with you can go with that so here i will go with the existing role because i already have a role created with me so my role i will select let me create a function now once my function is created i have a trigger point so that is the second requirement which i was talking about or uh, sorry the third requirement which i was talking about the first requirement was the handler second is the runtime runtime we have already seen the third thing is the trigger now here we can add the trigger here we can add the trigger from any of the aws services all the services are not listed here so we are getting trigger from limited services or we can do this manually here we have the handler which i was talking about and below that we have our code that is hello from lambda now here i am going to write my code code which i am going to write that is to create a s3 bucket now how to create a s3 bucket with the help of the python bodo3 for that what we need to do is we need to go to the official documentation of python bodo3 um, s3 here we have the s3 service if you are not able to get that so what you can do is you can search for the s3 from here select that you will get this option here is the client and here we have this thing import porto 3 so the first thing which i need in my code is to import json along with that we need to import porto 3 the next thing we have the client let me copy this thing i need to start writing my function below the handler handler is something which is important if i am not going to define this handler or if i am not going to define this function what will happen my lambda will not work so let me start from here client bodo3 this thing and what i need i need to create a bucket so here is the code for that create bucket create a new s3 bucket okay let me scroll down a bit and here we have response this thing let me copy this one client this one is the client so whatever the name you are going to give here it is one of the variables so you can give any name here okay you need to provide the same information create bucket now create bucket is the function from here i can provide all those things so if i scroll down i need to check what all things are required and what all things are you know are not mandatory so here the bucket name is required so what i need to do is i need to pick this bucket name in the same format let me copy this bucket name here we need to provide our bucket name so let me provide the bucket name lambda demo today test one two nine eight i'm just going with a funny name because you know whenever you are creating s3 bucket the name should be unique so that is the reason i have given this funny name we have the bucket name here the next thing we want we can you know give the location as well where we need to create our bucket if i'm not going to provide it is going to create it in the default region grant full control string i think we are good i'm not going to provide any other information but let me try to run my code and see whether it is working or not so here we have the bracket open we need to close our bracket as well done we need to test our function so that is the trigger point so how we can do that for that we need to first deploy this thing and the next thing i need to create a test so let me go to the test and here we need to create a event so what i am doing is i am creating a manual event so that it is going to trigger let me give a name test i don't want to give anything in the json here let me save this thing and let's run this thing 
the response is none but i am not getting any of the error message or something so let me quickly go to my s3 bucket and see whether the bucket is created or not so this is the bucket name let me go to my s3 console oops sorry so here i am in my s3 let me paste it here see i have this bucket created okay now let's suppose i need to add couple of more things so i need to change the bucket name as well because it is not maintaining the version so i'm i have just added one number here and let me go with some other options as well so what all other options we can go with let's see so i'm going with the acl and acl is going to be the public read and i'm also going with the bucket location let me go to my lambda and let me provide that information here so acl is public read public read from here and you know the create bucket configuration create bucket configuration is this location constraint and here i can provide my location whatever the location i want let me deploy this code let me test it i'm getting the response null now let me go to my s3 bucket and let's see let me refresh this thing yes we have the second bucket created and that is created in ap south one the previous bucket was created in us east one why in us east one because my lambda function is in north virginia that is us east one so this way we can use the lambda function in order to run or or in order to create the aws services we can also list out the bucket information from here so that is something i will create a new video and i will tell you like how you can you know get the information of all the bucket s3 buckets which are in your account so all those things i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure you do subscribe my channel and hit the like button and if you have any question or comments you can always mention it in the comment section thank you